today I'm going to be cleaning my Quick EQM 710. Or as I like to say, my Quick Machine. This will work for you too. Why you ask? Who cares? You want it to last, don't you? And you certainly don't want people to think that smells coming from you. First, I need to make sure I'm up for the physical task. Now that I've been cleared, let's do this. First, the easy stuff, the exterior. Pay attention, this is very technical. Once a month with mild soapy water, wipe down the shroud and outside components. And if you really want it to shine, every three months or so, Use non-abrasive auto wax. Look at that shine. Next, we move on to the motors. Because without motors, well, we'd be motorless. For this, you want to back off a bit and use only a slightly damp cloth. Motors are like the witch in the Wizard of Oz. They don't like water. I would do this weekly because they are so important. The grease and the oil are all self-contained. So we're just killing the crud. You can also use a little canned air for the tough spots. Okay, now for the upholstery. You may be tempted to throw it in the wash, but don't. It's not socks, though it may smell like it. And it may kill the fire retardant capability. That's super important. So hand wash only, then drip dry. Perfect on a sunny day. Now to a very sensitive spot. No, not there. Your joystick. For this, you only want to use a cloth that's been slightly dampened with diluted detergent. Use this for the housing and the boot. I'm not sure what the boot is, but that's what the script says. The LED screen is super delicate. No window cleaners, scouring powders, cleaners with solvents like alcohol, benzene, ammonia, or paint thinner. No abrasive pads, not even paper towels. This is one delicate flower, and you only want to use a dry, lint-free cloth. Don't give out on me now, we're almost done. Now that your chair is fresh and clean, and smelling like Daisy, whoever that is, let's go over the checklist. Batteries charged, check. If you're smart, don't do this every day. If you're not smart, do this every day. I plug in every time when I'm checking out. No, not dying, going to bed. Tires, properly inflated? This should be done at least once a week. First thing is to check for signs of wear. Then make sure each tire is inflated to the level listed on the side wall, right here. You want the tires to be inflated to between 35 and 45 pounds per square inch, but double check. Fill and watch your pressure gauge. Do the same with each tire. You also want to use a hand pump or low volume air pump. The air pump at the local gas station is a no-no. Well, that's about it. If you forget anything, it's all right there in your Quickie Owner's Manual. Quickie. I love that word.